Oh, Shalom, Ras Safari. This is Wyndham Yadam. This is Ras Iadonis Yadinos of the line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. Um, I was meditating on this. In fact, I've been thinking about this particular subject matter over the years and also in engaging others and reasoning. You know, um, it's come up sometimes. You know, you post a vid. And the vid has documented evidence, facts in it concerning the king of kings, concerning Haile Selassie, the true lion of the tribe of Judah, concerning the true uh, Jesus Christ or Yeshua HaMoshiach as a black man, an Ethiopian, the true woolly here, brass as uh, burnt in the fire, Messiah, and um, other subject matters related to our way of life, our liberty, and some of our brothers and sisters, you know, and you know who you are, and we've reasoned before, and we would some of them comment, even myself would comment, like, wow, how come not more hits on this particular video? Or how come not more hits on that particular video? Or, or, or certain videos that, that we deem and we know is important, we'll find out that there's not that many hits on that. True. YouTube's which is all connected with the, you could say, the Babylon system at certain important levels and points, they could be playing with the counter. They've done this before, play with the counter, where you really got much more hits on your video. But you're not going to see that there because they don't want you to, they don't want other people to see that there. And then you know the vids, like with the million or so hits, or even on the news, sometimes they'll say, oh, this video has gone viral. So folks will say, oh, your video hasn't gone viral, so therefore it's not that important because your video has not gone viral. And brothers and sisters, this is for us, this is for you, this is for, for me, this is for we, right? We Ethiopian Hebrews at home and abroad, and, and we Jah's true children, regardless of whatever um, ethnicity or nationality, those who love truth and those who are about the God of truth, but especially for Rastafari, especially for we as Ethiopian Hebrews. This is a, a kind of a level that some of us haven't really meditated deep enough on. We've, we've become reactionary to it, you know. And this happened to me years ago, first broadcasting on YouTube. So, you know, we post up a video. Um, and for, before we even post a video, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll get on YouTube, you know. Are you on YouTube? I'm on YouTube. You're on YouTube, you know. So that means you've, you've found out the address and you've checked out videos and searched out things that you're interested in or people will send you a link and so forth and so on, right? And um, sometimes just searching, you'll see videos that have like millions of hits, you understand? And not talking about the viral videos, but other videos that have millions of hits and everything like that. And sometimes folks get cold feet in posting videos because, and some have posted videos and don't get that many hits on the videos. Now, you have to remember PSYOP, psychological warfare. And not just what men and people do, but really these, uh, these, uh, uh, demonic entities, spiritual forces, spiritual wickedness in high and sublime and regic, you know, very subtle places, right, like in our hearts and our minds. You post a video, you don't get that many hits on it, and, and, and you know that it's, that, that it's good information, that it's necessary information, that it's timely information. And through your best efforts, whether the tags you put on the video, whether the title, you know, if you say, well, if you do this, you get more hits. If you do that, you get more hits. And, and it's true. In certain ways, if you're promoting a Babylonian product or you're doing something that's of the seclorum of the world, it's true. You, you probably will get more hits like that. If you're selling a product or something like that, yeah. You know, especially a Babylonian product or one that is accepted. But, you see, we have to recognize that I and I as Rastafari, our identification is in and with his imperial majesty and with the truth of his imperial majesty, right? Um, and this truth of his imperial majesty, the forsaking God world has forsaken, right? So, yes, we have a ministry responsibility to proclaim the good news of the king of kings and his Christ, our black lord and savior, you understand? Yes, that's, that is so very important. But, but it's the psychological aspect 
right? You see, it's the soul. See, our psyche, our 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 affections, desires, our emotions, our um, active will, you know, our self, all that's part of the soul. You know, there's that, some say an upper and a lower aspect of the soul, like the mind, psyche is the soul, and the feelings and the emotions are the soul. So if you worked on putting a video together, right, that really want to show people some suppressed or, or, or some hidden or some um, unspoken of half of the story of the truth so that folks know what's going on, and then you come back and you check it out later on, and you see, wow, that few hits. In fact, we saw a, 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 a listen to a video. It was a music video. And it was a very good kind of like, um, I forgot the guy's, the brother's name, but it was connected with, uh, what was it, Dr. Barbara Sycamore? I think it was Barbara Sycamore or something like that was speaking about black people just don't get it yet or black people still don't get it yet. And it was a video, I think it was uh, Sizemore. Sizemore, 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 Dr. Barbara Sizemore, black people still don't get it yet. And a brother had did some music, right, um, to, you know, some hip-hop, a conscious, really conscious hip-hop like hip-hop used to be, right, rap music you can call it, right. And... Um, I think it was a while ago he posted it, and we saw it. It was at 90, 93 uh, hits. Right? It was like 93 uh, views, uh, right? And um, Sister Wife reminded me that actually somebody else made a comment. It was like, was like wow, a damn, only 61 hits? So since that time and the time that we watched the video, there were – you know, some maybe 30 or so, you know, 30, 30 odd, you know, additional people saw it. But if you listen to the music, the, the brother had a good flow. He had good music. He was, he had a clip from, from, from the sister, sister, doctor, Dr. Barbara Sizemore, you know, speaking about real things, you know, I mean, real things for our people, right? And then you begin to say, wait, 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 what's going on? Now, you know, the truth is the truth. Those who are able to have a love of the truth and able to receive the truth, you know when you come across the truth, right? You know, if you have a love of the truth. See, some people don't have a love of the truth. See, a lot of folks don't recognize that. They think that, well, if they throw knowledge or information at folks, you know what I mean? It's like when Christ says, uh, when the Moshiach says to us, he says, um, don't cast your pearls before swine or that which is holy to the dogs. Now, this doesn't mean that we're not to minister, but it means if the dogs and the hogs, and others don't like it, you understand? Know that is not to affect our soul, our psychological state. And if you're honest, as I'm trying to be honest right here, honest like Johannes, right, like the grace of God, Johannes, right, speaking of the name, right, and, and Jonah, Jonah the dove, you know. So I'm trying to say that when I first posted up videos, I, I went through that. You know, I would, I would almost immediately check and see, well, who, how many people had, you know, how many people like it, you know, and then some folks would be so desperate, please like, please friend me, please like me, you know, please, please, uh, uh, I like this video, and, and then after a while, it's, that is a, the way you sell your soul, and not so much for money or silver or gold, that's, that's a catchphrase right there, you know what I'm saying, even the idea of selling your soul, that's a catchphrase, you won't really find it in the Bible, what you find in the Bible is that people would, it says that losing your soul, Right, you know, losing your soul, you know, forsaking and losing your soul. So what is the soul again? The soul in psychological terms is the psyche. And so we have psyche, psycho, logos, logos. In the beginning was the logos, the word, so soul word. And what is the soul? Soul has to do with our affections, our desires, our emotions. You're feeling happy. That's your soul. How are you, how you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm doing great. That's the soul speaking that I'm doing great. Oh, I'm doing kind of bad. That's the soul speaking right there. And then it also affects your will. Remember, the act of will is connected. Remember, man is a trinity. Man is a tripartite being. You see, this is, this is dealing with the knowledge of the truth. That's why the Holy Spirit said, don't you recognize what is said in the word? Right? Don't you recognize what is said in the word? It's so clear what is said in the word. That there are false prophets out there. You understand? What they do is tit, 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 titillate. People are on the titty of titillation. Right? On the titty of titillation. And so 
a lot of these videos out there that get a lot of hits, a lot of these people who you say, yeah, you're saying the truth. But then if you really are looking at it from a mature psychological level, see, a lot of folks are not, the society does not um, condition people to be uh, mature in their psychological nature. That's why a lot of these stupid videos, I mean, some really retarded stuff, you talk about lowered expectations. Some of, these stu some of the stuff out there is just totally asinine. You know, and, and yet it gets it gets millions of hits, and people are like, oh, I like that. That's what everything should be like. You mean you really want to um, study to show yourself approved to God as a workman that need not be ashamed, and allow your psychological state to be dependent on these sort of people? I'm, I'm not talking about the people themselves, but their their spiritual immaturity. Right, so if they don't like your video, if they don't friend you, you understand, if they don't link your video, if they don't say nice things about your video, so for me, why does it bother you? It the only reason why it bothers you is because you have not matured, right, in the way, the truth, and the life of the King of Kings and his Christ. And, and I'm saying that I was on that level too. And, and I'm just beginning to kind of like, you know, get past that to the point that I can even articulate on it and say, yeah. I was there, I put up videos and wonder like even this new channel, I was looking like, Oh, only only this many folks and so forth and so on. okay. You know, I mean I mean like like maybe maybe fifty to maybe eighty or a hundred or so views after a couple of days and it's interesting because some of the real brothers and sisters and others are about that same number. Even though like on Ethiopian World Net we have, I think, some, some couple of thousands of subscribers. But then if you recognize the videos that we have put out and some other people's videos we've put up there, so forth and so on, you know, that's a part of it. And sometimes when we speak about things like, um, you know, uh, um, white Jesus or Caesar Borgias or, or the Pope or the devil or, or Firebun Babylon or some of the stuff going on. You know, when we talk some Babylonian things or some of these so-called uh, celebrities or whatever, then people will hit it, they'll they click on it, and that will give you a false positive. So you'll think like, wow, I got a lot much more viewers now. Or look at some of the conspiracy theories. Even the Holy Spirit was talking about the conspiracy theories. The people were talking about the conspiracies. Like, oh, look at this. Look at that. So forth and so on. And you see some of their videos have like thousands of hits. Right? But when you look around, is things really getting better? Uh, you remember what the King of Kings said? What, what Abba, Abba Kedus, what, what Father said? He said, illusions. Illusions. These are just illusions, my brothers and sisters. So we've come to the conclusion that... We don't care, and we should not care as mature sons and daughters if we get thousands of hits, right, on a video. In fact, we should be more cautious when we put out a video, you understand, that is founded and grounded and we get a lot of hits on it and everybody likes it. Who are these people, right? You, you, you know what I'm saying? Because if this many people are turned on to the truth, you, right, then there's more labor in John's vineyard that needs to get done. You understand? But if all these people are liking it and, and still the ministry lacks that cooperation of all these, then what is it? It's a shell game. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deception. It's a lie. You remember what Christ said? Let no man deceive you by any means. So it's not just one man now. Now it's how many men and people friend you up, like you up. It's like the Facebook thing. Come on. Come on. And folks are having psychological breakdowns because of it people that they've never met, never known, and really probably don't agree with them on any core issue of their life or their reality, they're allowing their psychological state to be rated, and that right there is the loss of soul, what the world, the Babylon calls selling your soul. See, folks think because of that, well, selling, I'm not selling my soul. I'm not selling my soul. Well, well why are you so twisted? If you put out a real video talking about some real subject matter and people are calling you every name other than a son or a daughter of Jah, why are you so affected by that in your soul? Because, man, right, they should realize, see, that's the immaturity right there. And so our society, the society of the Imperial Match, the line of Judah Society, Ethiopian World Net, and all of those who are related to us in the Father, in Jah, Rastafari, 
we're not building something for the world. Ask the world, right, and things that be in the world. Stay tuned. Another part coming up after the break. Shalom Rastafari. <laughs> 